No, I'm not rocking the usual plaid today, guys. But I am rocking the usual button-down shirt, which is my signature look. I'm sorry, guys. My voice is uh, pretty shot from last yesterday's stream, so I'll try to talk as much as possible, but my voice did wear down quite a bit. So I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you guys. Hello to everyone in the uh, stream. Senpai is a Leo. Yes, I am rocking the white. Uh, Red Rainbow Sheep. Galaxy Cat. Goats in my belly. Bubble Legend. And uh, Benjamin123 are who I see right now, but hello to everyone else who is still here. Uh, can you guys let me know what is the delay factor between my uh, webcam and my microphone? I was looking at the replay last night and noticed that there was some uh, discrepancy. There was some discrepancy between my voice and the webcam. So if you guys can let me know how long the delay is, I'll try to fix that in real time. How's it going, Azelia? Shadow Josh888, welcome back. Okay, my opponent's bringing a Clef Key, Volcarona, Togekiss, Sceptile, Doug Trio, and a Milotic to this mixed tier to this mixed tier battle. Okay, no delay for Kyiran. Uh, good to know. Guys, if the delay does start to happen, if there is discrepancy between the voice and the webcam, just let me know. Uh, this is a mixed tier battle. I see some good synergies on my opponent's team. Of course, uh, the fairy flying and uh, steel fairy combination between Togekiss and Klefki is a great combination. Also good synergy between Sceptile, Volcarona, and Milotic. Um, also good trapping power with the Doug Trio that we're going to have to look out for. Common weaknesses that I see. I see two fire type weaknesses. I see two rock type weaknesses. One ground, one electric. One, uh, two ice, three ice, three ice type weaknesses. So we'll keep those things in mind throughout the course of the battle. Let me quickly enter my team so that we don't drop out like I did last time we had a viewer battle. And let's go in here. Uh, I'm bringing in Absol, Honchkrow. Uh, Absol, Honchkrow. Can't remember, remember my team. Seismitoad. And, uh, you know, three other ones. Doesn't really matter. So, Enderman, 2013, good luck to you, my friend. Uh, thank you for starting the stream off with the battle. I always appreciate my viewers getting involved. Also, guys, we're getting very, very close to that giveaway at 500, so if you're not already a follower, become one now. Help me get closer to that 500 follower goal, and also get us to that giveaway a little bit quicker. Um, as soon as we get to that 500 follower mark, um, we will do the giveaway on this stream. Um, I won't do it any sooner than like 8 o'clock though, okay? So if we get there within like the next 30 minutes or so, I'm going to push the giveaway factor back uh, back to, mm, I don't know, back to 8 o'clock at the latest. Otherwise, if it happens after 8 o'clock, we'll do it like right away. Okay, so the cleft key opens up, so we're going to mega evolve right now to get that mag chick bounce going. So if he wants to do any thunder wave or entry hazard uh, shenanigans, they'll all get bounced back in his direction. I don't think he can do much to us, so we're just going to set up a sword stance to start things off. Okay, so he does go for the spike, so we're going to bounce those back to my opponent. Uh, so on this first turn, we're going to get plus two attack from the sword stance, and also spikes are going to be on my opponent's side of the field. Azelia says it doesn't kick in until you watch for a bit. I had some delay, but it would come and go. Okay, thank you, Azelia. Thanks for letting me know that. Maybe I'll just, like, end the stream and restart it if, if that starts to happen too much. Uh, Senpai, I usually don't do double battles. One of these days I will. I'm thinking I'm going to add, like, a double battle, like, I'm going to make double battles a certain day. Like, we have Tournament Tuesdays right now. So Tuesdays are the days we do tournaments, free entry for real prizes. And, uh, um, so Tuesdays, it's Tournament Tuesdays, but we don't have any other, like, day things. I think I'm going to make double battles a day-specific thing. I don't like them that much, but I know you guys want to see some more. Uh, let's see. So we got a sword dance up. What does that mean for us? Not really too much. I could baton pass off. Mm. I'm going to baton pass. See what he switches into. Uh, because I don't think he's going to stay in at this point. Oh, he does stay in. Interesting. Interesting. I uh, didn't see that coming, but he did go for an attacking move, we know. And usually he only has uh, a stab move. So maybe we'll just go into Drapion. Yeah, we'll just go into da uh, Drapion. And uh, get a plus two choice band to Drapion on the field. I don't think he had any ground type. No, he did have some ground type immunities. 
Goes to the Draining Kiss, which won't be very effective. That shouldn't do very much at all. Uh, does less than 25%, so not upset about that. Goes to my belly says, who did your graphics, Howie? I have some extra money to spare. I would like to make my stream look better. I actually did all of my graphics on my own. Um, I did mine in Macromedia Fireworks. It's a great program, very, very user-friendly. I think it's a lot better than Photoshop. So if you want to make your own graphics, I would recommend getting involved with Macromedia Fireworks. Now, my opponent hasn't shown any interest in switching, so I will just go for the Earthquake, although he could go into that Toga Kiss. Um, I don't think he's going to expect the Ground-type attack. So if he does go into the Togekiss, oh, he goes into the Volcarona, not bad. So uh, he's going to get some Spikes damage, a plus two Choice Banded Earthquake, not Stab, but that still is going to do a lot of damage, even though it's neutral. And it is, in fact, a one-hit KO. So not a bad way to start the battle. We get the Spikes on my opponent's side of the field. Uh, we take care of the Volcarona, and we have a Choice Banded Drapion right now at plus two attack. So interesting. I wouldn't have guessed this is how it would have started, but I'm not mad about it. Now the Dugtrio does come in with the Arena Trap, so I think this means that our Drapion is going to go down. I will try to switch. And it is going to let us. So the Dugtrio doesn't have Arena Trap. So we are going to be able to spare our Drapion on the hard switch into the Flygon. Which of course will be immune to the incoming Earthquake. Uh, earthquake does not affect us at all. I'm going to go for a U-turn right now just to uh, get out of here. I don't think he's going to hang around. U-turn will do some good damage, and it should be pretty easy to predict what move he wants to go for if he does stay in. Uh, really only has the Stone Edge and the Sucker Punch. Doesn't show the Sucker Punch. No, he's not going for the Earthquake. And uh, that means... Oh, we get the crit. Not bad. That means that the Stone Edge is probably coming through. Rat Slayer says, Howie. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Nate the Pika, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Bubble Legend, you were right about the goats. Um, I have a 6 IV Senpai Leo. If you want a giveaway, I could give you one. Uh, Nate the Pika is ready to battle. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the Stone Edge is coming through. I'm going to go into Seismitoke, would which would take that resisted. And can probably take... Um, uh, thank you for the follow, Ryan Zach 123 I think you were already a follower, but uh, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. So the Rock Slide comes through, not the Stone Edge, but it misses anyway, despite having higher accuracy. And that means we can pretty safely go for the Stealth Rock. DJ D Mall, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, say hi in the stream, guys, if you just got here, by the way. I like to read all my followers by name. Uh, we do do giveaways for competitive battle-ready Pokemon, uh, physical copies of video games, gift cards, all sorts of stuff on the stream. So you'll be eligible for all of those things. Okay, so the Clef Key comes back in. Klefki comes back in. We get the Stealth Rocks down. And uh, this is a clear sign for me to go back into Mega Absol, which is a hard, hard check for the Klefki. And even though it resists both of our attacks, the Sucker Punch and the uh, Play Rough, we can still do more damage to it than it can do to us. And also we can reflect back any entry hazards my opponent might want to throw our way. A Rat Slayer says, are you getting that big 500 tonight? I hope so, guys. I hope you guys will help me. Okay, so my the Klefki goes for Spikes again, so the Absol is a great switch. At this point, my opponent's side of the field houses two layers of Spikes and Stealth Rocks. Um, and we don't have anything on our side of the field. Major plus for us, uh, that Doug Trio is now dead upon arrival next time it comes in. So effectively, my opponent only has four Pokemon left. In light of that, I think I'm just going to go for a Play Rough on whatever switch is in. Uh, if he stays in, that's fine. I know he'll resist it um, two or four times. I can't remember if Fairy resists Fairy. Uh, but it will do more than that Draining Kiss should do to us. Uh, critical hit. Wow. Maybe not. The Draining Kiss does come through. Oh, my mistake. The Draining pit, uh, Kiss is super effective against the Dark-type uh, Absol. So at this point, we are just going to Baton Pass out safely. It's always better to go for a Baton Pass if you have it, rather than a hard switch out. Because it gives you the opportunity to see if your opponent wants to switch as well. Um, it's, it's like a slow switch. So in this case... Since the Baton Pass happened and uh, my opponent's Pokemon is still in, we know he's staying in. And that means he's going for the Draining Kiss, for sure. And uh, based on that information, I think I'm just going to go into the Seismitoad and uh, just going to rock some Earthquakes. I'm going to let my opponent get some Entry Hazards on our side of the field. Uh, won't be upset about it. Hmm. Uh, go to my belly. I wasn't able to clean up the followers, so I guess if you guys want to make fake accounts you'll get away with it for now i'd prefer that you guys didn't do that but 
Um, I don't have a good way to detect for fake followers, so if you are gonna make a fake account, make sure it's convincing. Don't make it like 500 follower, you know, hype or something like that. Um, but I'd prefer you guys didn't make fake accounts. I don't have a way to check for it right now. I'm just being straight up and honest with you. Uh, but I would prefer you guys didn't do that. It doesn't help the stream at all. Uh, that's the other reason I'm going to wait until at least 8 o'clock. Okay, so uh, now my opponent is going to get a layer of spikes down. But since we already have Stealth Rock and two layers on his side, and since Earthquake should be a one-hit KO, um, that's still advantage us. And uh, we still have all six of our Pokemon. He only has uh, four left. Plus the Doug Trio, like I said, is is so low on health that those spikes and stealth rocks are going to take it out the next time it comes in. Danman says, may I ask how my team is? Um, your team is good. Um, obviously, you beat me yesterday, uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, you have a nice team, Dan Man. Congratulations on that win. After stream yesterday, Danman259 did beat me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Okay, so now we have... I think I'm going to switch Flygon in. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know if a Leaf Storm will one-hit KO a Flygon. Uh, Stell109, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. Uh, you're now eligible for all the giveaways we're going to do. Ghost in my belly. Gotta go see a movie with my mom. See you later, if you're still on. Enjoy your movie. Uh, we'll see about it. You'll probably be gone for two to three hours, which is usually how long my stream uh, lasts. So the Sceptile comes through with the Leaf Blade. No critical hit. Thank you very much. And uh, now we can just go for the Outrage with the Choice Scarf. It will be super effective on the Drapion. Um, he could switch into the Togekiss, but if he does that, we will be able to hard switch out. He does not. Uh, so odds are the Togekiss comes in since we're going to be locked into a move. As you can see, Drago, the Mega Sceptile, goes down to the Outrage. Uh, because the Fairy-type the fairy type uh, Togekiss will be immune to that Outrage, uh, it should be the next switch in. Galaxy Cat says, sorry I had to miss yesterday's stream. I had to do a bunch of housework. Oh, that's always the worst. Surprisingly, the Milata comes in. So even though it can take us out with an Ice Beam, uh, we are going to get another Outrage off. And do some more damage. The, the Togekiss would have been the switch in there for sure. Um, really not a reason not to bring that Togekiss in. But as you can see, we get another Outrage off. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's especially defensive or an offensive Milotic, because typically an Outrage from a Flygon does not do that much damage. Uh, should see the Togekiss now. So Mr. Egg comes in, and now we see the Togekiss. Um, again, not to belabor the point, uh, but if you do want to be a competitive battler, take note of those things. If your opponent locks himself into a Dragon-type move, like an Outrage, um, and you lose a Pokemon, always switch in a Fairy-type. Always switch in a Fairy-type. I didn't even want to go for the Outrage there because of the Togekiss. Um, as you can see there, uh, the Milotic was really just kind of a, a wasted sacrifice. Regardless, regardless, we have finally lost our first Pokemon. I think I'm just going to go into the uh, the Choiced, Choice Banded Drapion right now and go for a Poison Jab. Uh, which should be a one-hit KO on the uh, Togekiss. From where he is right now at about 75% health. Not really fearing the Aura Sphere. The Air Slash shouldn't be a one-hit KO either. The Fairy-type move we resist. Oh, I don't have the Poison Jab. My mistake. Do not have the Poison Jab. Uh, resist Dark-type attacks. Uh, so we'll just go for the Aqua Tail, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to straight out attack the rest of the battle. The only Pokemon he has left is the Doug Trio, which is dead upon arrival. The Aqua Tail doesn't do enough. Um, the Thunder Wave does come through. Uh, could be a Roost situation right now. Shows the Thunder Wave, the Dazzling Gleam, and uh, probably has a Roost in there as well. And I'll just go for one more Aqua Tail. If he does Roost, then I will switch out at that point. We do still have the Seismitoad, which is at least immune. Okay, so the Air Slash comes through, thinking a uh, pseudo para flinch, and uh, he does get that flinch. Uh, but we are just going to sacrifice our Drapion. We're not going to give him the um, luxury of, uh, of being able to roost without incident. And the Air Slash does come through. We'll take out our Drapion, so we'll have to bring something else in to finish off the Togekiss. Uh, how do I battle you, says Stell109. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I raffle off the battles at random just to keep it entirely fair. 
I'm gonna bring in Seismitoad right now. Danman says, if you had like Rapid Spin on that team, it would be OP. I could use a Rapid Spin user on that team, uh, Danman. Um, I, like I said, I just threw these teams together based on viewer suggestions before the last stream. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for... Ah, uh, why did I bring this in? I'm just going to go for the knockoff or moving item. I don't really have a great answer to take out this Toga Kiss. Uh, I should have went to Hanj Crow. What was I thinking? Okay, so it just goes to the, uh, the, the Thunder Wave, but we are a ground type, so of course that doesn't do any damage. Um, doesn't get the uh, the paralysis off. Uh, remove a sharp beak. Interesting. Red Nova 17. Welcome to the stream. Please say hi. I'd like to greet you personally. I'd like to. I like to. Okay, this is what makes me. Mm, Red Nova, if you wouldn't mind saying hi in the stream, I'd appreciate it because it makes me a little bit suspicious when people come, follow, and leave right away. Um, those are the ones I think are usually the, the fake accounts. Uh, Pokey Bray says, can we decide on a tournament today so people can get teams together? Yeah, we could probably do that. We can probably do that a little bit later. Uh, tournament Tuesday, by the way, uh, we give away prizes to the winners of the tournament. Um, if we get... If we get 30 entrants into the tournament, I will give away a copy of Pokemon X or Y fully loaded. So on Tuesday, if we can get at least 30 entrants in that tournament, whichever tier it ends up being, the winner will get a fully loaded copy of Pokemon X or Y. So look forward to that. As you can see, the Doug Trio comes in, goes down to the entry hazard, and that's going to be the end of our first match in the stream. Uh, we're going to go back-to-back -back battles, guys. Um, so whoever wants to battle next, uh, just uh, we're going to roll for it right now. We're going to raffle it off. Thank you so much for the battle. I guess, I'm not sure what that was a good example of. I guess that was another good example of how Mega Absol can function. Uh, you saw the reflection of the entry hazards was very, very useful. We gained two layers of spikes and prevented the three layers of spikes that would have been on our side of the field. So I would say Mega Absol is probably the MVP. Thank you for the battle, by the way, Ender League.